Hey everybody, welcome back to another Pokemon guide. We are here with Scizor today, which is a really cool Pokemon. I know it's a favorite of a lot of people. It's just such a cool looking Pokemon, so excited to talk about it. And it definitely has quite a bit of competitive viability. So yeah, um, but before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all those who have been watching the video, leaving lots of comments. I noticed that these Pokemon, these like individual Pokemon guides were getting a lot of views, especially the the Ozumarill one's been like hit up a lot so yeah um so I'll keep trying to do these and I might do some more like that aren't just new Pokemon um if anyone if anyone wants to see that um I'm gonna try and think that I'll definitely be trying to bring back uh team analysis uh, analyses um so I'll try and do one for the Trick Room Ozumarill team I've been using to kind of show you guys talk to more about it in depth and such um yeah, so I keep trying to do team analyses every time I use a team onto the channel, and um, related to that, thank you for watching the battle videos, I'm happy to be doing those again. It's been a while, um, I'm actually enjoying the format a little bit more with these new Pokemon. Some of the teams I'm building are just like new DLC Pokemon, so I think that says a lot about like how I felt about the format before. It just wasn't a lot of stuff that I really felt comfortable using, um, but I think this format is a little or this change of the format's really good for me, personally. There's a lot of Pokemon I really like, um, and it's just some new stuff is great. So, yeah, um, so I'll keep trying to get those out to you guys as much as we can. Um, I have a collab with a friend here from my city that we're trying to work on. Uh, we'll be doing a kind of a team builder analysis thing, and then I have some stream recordings that I'll put up just using it, as well as I might do some just like regular um, uh, battle videos. So, yeah, so, alright, so let's jump into Scizor here. Scizor, pretty solid stats all around, because it's got that monstrous attack stat of 130, which is pretty good. Pretty good defense, so 70, 110 is defensive, it's pretty solid. Um, it's not gonna be a, you know, it's not gonna be like a physical wall or anything, but it'll definitely take some hits. Then 70, 80 on the physical special, on the special side, which isn't great. Let's just go with that. So, uh, obviously the HP stats mostly will hold it back. Um, but it's workable, that's for sure. Some investment can actually make it fairly bulky. And then speed stat, faster than like Incineroar and Primarina, Grimmsnarl, those base 60s that are common, um, but obviously not super fast. Um, yeah, but I think salt stats all around. Obviously its main thing is gonna be attacking. Uh, in singles, it'll, it'll take on a little more defensive role at times. Like you'll see them run bulky and they might run Swords Dance, but a lot of times they'll be like, they'll have some offense but mostly bulk, and they'll be running like U-turn and defog, uh, yeah, roost, like ways to just, you know, ways to just kind of be a bulky pivot. So in singles, that's how it could work. Um, never really seen that in doubles. In doubles, those aren't like if you're gonna use like a bulky Pokemon or a pivot Pokemon, you want it to have either like some offense or some like really good supportive moves. Otherwise, you're gonna want damage just because the pace of doubles is a lot faster. So Scizor thinks kind of Pokemon that could function as a pivot, but an offensive pivot. So anyways, looking at some of its, um, actually let's look at its abilities first. So Swarm is okay, not great, especially because Scizor doesn't always run a bug move. Light Metal, having the damage so that we can like low kick, but uh, the real the real gem of Scizor is Technician. Pokemon's moves of 60 power or less have 1.5 times power. Um, so that's a really good ability. Cause you can take some of those cool weaker moves and make them stronger and the most notable with scissor is bullet punch which is base 40 so you get a base 60 uh with the technician boost and then you get the stab bumping it up to 90 so overall a 90 power priority move which is actually it can be really good like which just makes especially if it gets up a sword dance because of a sword dance it's got some really powerful bullet punches so that's kind of the big reason to use scissor uh, as far as other potential uh, technician moves, definitely acrobatics is usable, and then if you lose your item, it, do it doubles anyways, so it's more powerful. Um, definitely seen acrobatics. I'll talk more about flying type move in a second. Let's see, and then uh, yeah, quick attack, but that's useless because of bullet punch. Um, and sa the really sad thing is this gen, but Scizor didn't get access to bullet punch, or not bullet punch, to bug bite. Bug Bite's a 60 power bug move that like takes the berry of the Pokemon if it's holding one. That yeah, it's really unfortunate it lost Bug Bite, and that kind of really has made me hesitant to use Scizor, because um, 
it's really strong, really strong move that has a really cool secondary effect. So that's definitely the unfortunate thing, but that's okay. Um, assurance gets a little more power if it doesn't double. So you're like you're getting either 90 or 120 power. I would use brutal swing. <laughs> Uh, okay, dual wing beat. This is the really interesting one. I talked about this in one of the videos about Scyther utilizing it because if it's it gets stabbed um, This has actually been the most second most common attacking move on Scizor and I can understand why even though it's not a stab move It's still getting so it's getting it's two hits and each hit gets the technician boost So it's actually 260 power hits making it 120 power um, That actually makes it a little bit strong like it makes it about actually it makes it about the same power as um, X Scizor, X Scizor, it's like, it would be its primary bug move, the 80 power, except that because it's two hits, you can get, like, you have chances of, like, two higher, ro higher rolls, so it actually can do, I think, a little bit more damage, like, it's, like, slightly, like, a 2% more, um, so dual wing beat's actually really good on Scizor, it's a totally good replacement to this, and it hit, they both hit grass types, so, that, that's pretty huge for Scizor, so that, that's a move we're gonna be talking about a little bit more. Um, so you got like faint, which is a good move uh, if they're not have max guard, of course. And it gets a little, little bit of power. I guess fury cutter could be kind of interesting, but I've never seen it. So uh, metal claw, but you got bullet punch already. So yeah, a couple. So there's a couple ones. Thief, thief could actually be kind of neat. It's a it get boosted by technician as well as um, stealing the art type, target's item. You could use that with like a Psychic Seed or something, or Misty Seed maybe, I don't know. And then, oh, there's also Wing Attack, which is like kind of like Acrobatics, but again, Dual Wing Beat is the way to go with this thing, so. Th I do think Thief could be kind of neat if you want to, s if you have a way to like get rid of your item and then steal theirs, um, and then having a Dark type move, so. Thief's really, really cool, so. Okay, so that's about Scizor. Shininess, it's shiny, a lot of people like the shiny, this like cool green color. Um, I I like the green, but I'm more of the, I like the red better. So, but green green looks pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. So, okay, and then let's see. Yeah, bug steel only has one weakness, fire. So that's the one weakness you'll have to kind of deal with covering, and we can talk about that in a second. So, so let's look at a couple sample sets. So here's like a sword, a typical in my mind swords dance set. That the cool thing about the swords dance set is you have a lot of flexibility with the item. Um, but as far as the moves go, I'd definitely go Bullet Punch, Dual Wing Beat, Sword Dance, Protect. Uh, again, I think it's looking like to me, Dual Wing Beat's probably the superior second uh, attacking option, even over like its Stab X Scissor. Just because, like I said, this with the Stab comes to 120, this is, is 120 with the Technician and the double hit. The downside is Dual Wing Beat can miss since it is 90 accuracy. But it's really good. And then the Flying is just better coverage overall. Uh, they both hit grass types, which is really good, um, and the bug hits psychic types, which I think is actually kind of significant with some of the psychic spam, specifically and hitting in DD. But just dual wing beat probably hits more things neutrally that steel can. Um, so like fire types, you can't hit fire types with bug or steel, but flying sure can. So that's really helpful. Uh, and then of course swords dance to boost your to uh, boost your attack and do damage, and then protect just a typical move. Uh, maybe you don't have to run Protect, you can run another coverage move, but I'm still a fan of Protect and, and such. So, uh, like I said, the item is pretty, I feel like the item is pretty um, flexible with this, with the uh, boosting set. So I put Lumberry because, you know, it, Scizor can be a pretty good burn target or sleep target, especially if it gets boosted. Uh, you could run a Pinch Berry for at health or a Citrus Berry, which I don't have on here. Life orb for extra damage, cause like with a life orb, if this thing does a lot of damage just in general, so you can have it do damage without the sword dance, and then if you get a sword dance up, or you know you get to plus one because you're intimidated in sword dance, like that's that's pretty big damage, I would say, like pretty big. Um, another one, Akaberry. Akaberry is a really good item because that's its only weakness, like type weakness, and so I would consider that, um, especially if you don't have like rain on the team. Or you could have Akaberry and Rain and then take a big fire hit really well. Like, you really want to live a fire hit. So, Akaberry would be pretty good. Safety Goggles is also a good option on Scizor. A lot of times, I think Amoongus likes to protect some fairy, t some fairy types. And this thing gets around that and hits those fairy types. So, 
so I've seen that used. So safety goggles is a totally a usable item with this set. Um, I like the idea of Wormberry or Life Orb. Um, mo yeah, probably mostly Life Orb, especially just for that really good damage. Like I do really like the Life Orb, but some t like there's a lot of Pokemon competing for the Life Orb. Um, so Wormberry is a good option just to get around, like Scald Burns or something, or that random Will O Wisp. Uh, looking at anything else, not a ton. Yeah, Akaberry, and then again, Akaberry is a really good option on top of that, so. Yeah, that's. I guess you could also run Metal Coat to boost your Bullet Punch at least, so. Uh, not so sure about Expert Belt, cause, uh, you could do it, but I don't know if its coverage is great. So. Yeah, anyways, those are those would be probably the most likely items I would want to use. Eh, maybe not weak palsy. So, um yeah. And then spread, I was just looking you could you could totally just go like that. That would be good too. Um but I was thinking like with the swords the inside it might be kinda cool to run something a little different, if especially if you are actually gonna be going for that sword stance. So with like say so it's this set without the life orb, this the idea here is this would Oko, so at plus one attack, so in case you get intimidated, at plus one attack you would Oko uh, the standard, kind of standard defensive Rillaboom with dual wing beat or X scissor if you choose to use X scissor. So either of those would Oko Rillaboom. At plus two you'll Oko Amoongus, but at plus one, a physically defensive Amoongus, like fully physically, you'll Oko Amoongus with dual wing beat. Um, oh, and that's another good reason to run dual wing beat. You hit Amoongus super effectively, which X Scissor doesn't because that poison typing makes it neutral. So, anyways, um, so this would not Oko at plus one, but if you run Life Orb with this set, then you can Oko fully physically defensive Amoongus at plus one. So if you get intimidated, so you're up to plus, one, you're down to plus one, and you dual wing beat Amoongus, you'll take it out. So it doesn't have like a Citrus Berry or potentially a pinch berry if you hit down to that. Um, and then the special defense, I was just kind of looking at some ways to survive some fire type attacks, either with an aqua berry or a rain. And what I ended up with is you can survive like a Drake, a Dragapult's flame, th like life orb flamethrower in the rain or with aqua berry, or you can survive Charizard's life orb heat wave in the rain or with an aqua berry. Um, so that's kind of what I was going for, just like a little, just to, like help a little bit with the, with that big fire weakness so, so that was about the spread there and but again like totally this works as a good starting point and then you can just go from there um but just as i was just kind of thinking about it i was just like oh that'd be kind of nice just to give that extra little bit of bulk you know and just general sur help survivability against maybe some of those water moves that um hit scissor neutrally and such so uh these next two sets are pretty much the same uh just two different items so Assault Vest has been really common on Scizor to help with its lower special defense. If I was running Assault Vest, I'd probably do that instead. Um, not a big difference. So yeah, so Assault Vest has been pretty uh, popular. So Bullet Punch, I'd Dual Wing Beat for sure. And then for the last two moves, you could run like Iron Head or the other move that this thing uses is Super Power as one. I've seen Assurance before, again Thief, but you won't really get used to that with the uh, Assault Vest. Um, yeah, so I'd say probably Super Power or Iron Head, because Iron Head's nice just to have that like stronger seal move, especially if you do end up Dynamaxing. And then with the, like, the last move, I think x Scissor or U-Turn would be good, just kind of depending on the team. Um, x Scissor is a little more damage, and U-Turn obviously is a good pivot move. And then for the other set, oh, and these are just, yeah, max HP, max attack. Like, that's just what I'd go for, something like that. Same with the, so another the other set I was looking at is Choice Band. Uh, this one you could also do like do way less attack and do more bulk or something if you want because that choice band's giving you more damage. It kind of just depends what you specifically want a choice banded scissor to like hit real hard. So, but you could do that and you're you know, hitting even harder. So that's again totally an option, especially with bullet punch. Um, again, bullet punch, iron head, dual ring beat. I would probably always run U-turn on a choice band scissor. That way you can pivot out and reset what move you're locked into later. That would be my that would be my personal preference. And then again, if you don't want to run Iron Head, you could run something like um, Super Power, if need be, or maybe some other dark move like Assurance. Um, yeah, so that would be, that's how I'd run a Choice Band Scissor. And then Assault Vest, very similar. This one also could be U-Turn, like I said. 
Um, I think superpower actually could be really good on this, so just to hit something like a uh, side fight, dual wing beat, because then you can hit something like um, the Pokemon that sucks. Oh, Incineroar. Like you hit something like Incineroar, and that would probably do a lot of damage even with the the uh, Intimidate. So you have to look that calc up because that might do enough. In fact, I'd be down to look at that right now with you guys. That was that's the real boom calc. If you guys want to see that, but if I look up like just Incineroar, we go Choice Band and we put on Super Power, and you can see the minus. Is it? Uh, oh, I'd be at plus one. So you can see the minus one superpower is doing 74 to 88, which is pretty good. If I go max attack, like you're doing a lot. So if you get some chip on Incineroar, you can definitely take it out. And then even if it has like some investment there, if you can get it down a little bit, you can try and take it out with the choice band superpower. And you can get a little speed investment if you want to make sure you're faster. So um, where that's totally worth considering. So, and then for the last uh, Pokemon, last uh, set, I won. I was kind of thinking about it might be kind of cool to run like a fast offensive, maybe like a fast like or yeah, faster offensive um, Scizor, and maybe like with the intent to Dynamax, I'd probably run Life Orb. So just like run a Jolly Max Speed, and then run um, what is it? Oh yeah, run like the Max Attack. That's just. So obviously you're giving up the bulk for a little more speed, and 65 speed's not great, but this is a format that feels generally a little bit slower. There's like some fast stuff, and there's a lot of stuff kind of in around, in or like a little above or under this or around this. So this actually would probably catch quite a few Pokemon off guard. Like uh, there's a lot of Togekiss that aren't running this, this much speed. There's a lot of you know Rillaboom's not running this much speed all the time. So you could probably catch a lot of stuff off guard that you could just KO. Especially if you were to like Dynamax and get off a big Life Orb Max um, Steel Spike. Um, boost that defense. And then you can boost... Here's another cool thing. Like you can run the Max Dual Wing Beat. Which now... it don't, It's Max Move would only be 90 power. So it's not a lot if you run Dual Wing Beat. Um, but you are boosting your speed. And at 128, you know, you jump up to 192 after a Max Airstream. So you're then you're running pretty fast. Um, and then you could change up the moves like keep bullet punch or drop bullet punch. I don't know like again superpowers could be useful to deal with something like um, Incineroar, but then you also can boost your attack if you Dynamax. So Yeah, I think that could be kind of that could be kind of a cool option on Scizor um, Just like a fat like faster offensive and then you still have the bullet punch uh, to do pretty to do that like priority damage so yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking about when thinking about another set. Um, like I said, I think one, I think this 128 stack could be really good because it would catch some people off guard, and you will outspeed a lot of important stuff. Because um, I think there's a lot of a lot of Pokemon in this speed tier that uninvested will will be under this, and there's like again, like Rillaboom will be uninvested a lot. Uh, a lot of Togekiss are somewhat invested, but not always this much sometimes they are like there are some just like timid ones out there that are just trying to get off a bunch of big crits as fast as they can with that scope and super luck combo um yeah you'll be faster than like a polytoad um most likely that's like just defensive so that's that that's kind of my thinking to that so i think that could be kind of cool um on this, if you're like a specific team that kind of needs something like that so um, so those are a few uh, sample sets uh, based on like the Swords Dance has always been the most common on Scizor in the in the past like just the Swords Dance set with Bullet Punch and then either a stab move a uh, secondary stab move or a, just a good coverage move. Dual Wing Beat's a really cool addition to Scizor. It really is, especially the fact that it's the same power as X Scizor and um, has the better typing of flying. So. Um, yeah, the technician almost makes it like a stab move, a stab base AD move, and then obviously choice bands common been used in the past. Salt vest is pretty neat, and then I think something like this could be cool. I don't know. I'd have to try it at some point. Um, but I will say, so for like teammates, Politoed by far is probably one of the better teammates because of obviously Drizzle being able to eliminate like um, we like lower or was have the damage of its one type weakness in fire. So Politoed makes for a good partner 
and it also can threaten those fire types that are really scary, especially if you're on like a scarf set. Um, that could, that would be a big deal, because then you can really threaten like those Charizards and such. Um, and and then if you're on like a more defensive set, you get, and if you guys I have a video on Politoed in there, but you get um, Helping Hand, which is a really cool move to help increase its damage through like bullet punches and stuff. Um, Encore, Encore thing, yeah, it, it's got a lot of good, it's got a lot of things going for it, Politoed does, so, but this is probably by far the best, um, partner. Pelipper is worth noting as well, I should say, because that's the other Drizzle setter. So, Pelipper's, Pelipper's a little more one-dimensional, you're typically going to run Pelipper with a Focus Sash, Drizzle, um, and you're going to, let's see if I go Scald. Hurricane and Tailwind's what makes uh, Pelipper really good. Um, typically, but yeah, typically you're just gonna go timid. Oops, timid max speed or modest even. A lot of people go modest. So you get the strong skulls. You get the 100% accurate, accurate hurricanes in the rain. Tailwind boosts speed. So this thing's totally usable. This thing also gets wide guard, which is worth noting because of uh, heat wave. This heat wave's the mo like a more common fire type move. So. Uh, you can block those heat waves with wide guard. So Pelipper and Politoed, definitely the two most probably the two best um, Pokemon to pair up with it. So and then I would also consider some like redirection Pokemon with Follow Me, like Togekiss, obviously. Or um, and DD is a really common partner with Scizor. Obviously, you got to be careful about that and the Psychic Train blocking Bullet Punch. Uh, so just be aware of that. But and DD is definitely worth using. I've seen Clefairy used. Uh, Togekiss, right, and then finally you have your Rage Powder users, which we got two good ones right now, and Omungus and Volcarona. I think Volcarona's a good Rage Powder user, um, at least in the past. I don't know about now, there's a lot of Rock Slide running around. Uh, Butterfree's usable. Butterfree's obviously not a bad Pokemon. So, um, so yeah, those are a couple, couple of your options there for support, especially on like a Sword Dance set, having that, and then I think. Uh, Pokemon like Incineroar is still useful because it's Intimidate and Fake Out, same with Rillaboom. You're kind of like general good stuffs right now. So yeah, um, so that is about it for Scizor. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be trying to get some more battle videos out to you this week. Um, and cool guys, and I love, love hearing your comments and just like people have been also pointing out other stuff I've missed like moves or like and such. So that's been really helpful. So like you guys, if you look at the comments you can see some people point stuff out like that. So. Yeah, anyways guys, take it easy, have a great rest of your day, and we will see you in the next video. Peace.